Welcome back to Vikings.com, where we are breaking down day three of the 2020 NFL Draft. The Vikings had three fourth-round picks heading into today, and they kept all of them. They did not trade up, and they went defense on each of those three picks. Now, Ron, at pick 117, they went with Ed Rusher DJ Wanham out of South Carolina. What do you like about that pick? I love that pick. He's a guy that everybody assumed would possibly be a third round guy just because of his freakish size. He's 260 pounds, or right around 6'5", so he reminds you a little bit of a skinny Daniil Hunter. With that frame, he could easily put on some more muscle, which a lot of young defensive linemen do when they get to the NFL. Look at Terrell Suggs, kid I played with out of Arizona State, got them to Baltimore. He's now who he is because of the weight, the strength program. But Wanham's a guy that they can put inside and they can put him outside. They can stand him up in the two-point stance, and then they can put him outside to rush off the edge. So this gives a lot of freedom. If you think about the Saints game when Zimmer decided to put his DNs on the inside, Wanham's a guy that can handle from a three-technique stand-up position. He'll do just fine. And the Vikings kept going defense. At pick number 130, went, they went with Baylor defensive tackle James Lynch. You know, he's six foot four, 290 pounds. He's a first-team All-American. Uh, he was actually the, the 2019 Big 12 Defensive Player of the Year. So they went defensive line again. Um, and, and the thing about Lynch, he actually is Baylor's all-time sack leader with 22 sacks. He had uh, 13 and a half of those last year, 19 and a half tackles for loss. So there's another good addition for Andre Patterson on the defensive line. They kept going defense with pick, you know two picks later, pick number 132. They went with Oregon linebacker Troy Dye. And Ron, he, he's a Pac-12 guy. What, what kind of stands out about Dye? Well, if you watch Die, I mean, I, I saw the Rose Bowl when they played Wisconsin. And, you know, anytime anybody can beat up on Wisconsin, I'm happy with that. So he's a guy that created havoc. He was rushing all around the field. He was running everywhere. And he is an athletic guy from an athletic family. But when you look at a guy like Troy Die, all four years at Oregon, led the team in tackles, that's something that a lot of kids, nobody's done. So he's a, he's a, he's a freak a athlete. And he's also a guy, though, that's going to have kind of the path trajectory of Ben Gideon. He's going to come in right away, play special teams, fill in on some third down roles. But you, he's a guy that can later become a starter. But that's another good pick that people assumed he would go early as well. So you have to give your hats off to Rick Spielman. In day three, he's been able to get three defensive guys that everybody assumed would be drafted higher, and they didn't have to trade up to get them. So that was a good job. And so later in these rounds, we'll see what happens next. 